Okay, I've finished choking down my dinner to try and wash away the taste of failure from FTL, but we're back. Let's get some more failure by attempting the Rajput Reich achievement. I'm sure that's not what it's called, but we have to take Nagur and conquer all of Germany with it. <coughs> conquer or subjugate, vassals will count, so if you want to do it, try Christianizing and uh, taking over the Holy Roman Empire if you're a complete casual scrub. Let's get back into it. <sighs> How's this for fun Scottish food? Square sausage. We call it Lorne sausage. It uh, makes you feel bad for eating it afterwards. But... Okay, so the situation is we're beating down on Bolkstan, and I'm trying to decide if I want them to be my vassal or if I want to feed them to Sind. And the conclusion I think I came to was Sind have a terrible royal family following them and have Indian tech, whereas Bolkistan have Muslim tech with a not so bad uh, royal family and a fantastic culture group for feeding um, Timurid land to. But then, by the same notion, I might as well just punch out like Afghanistan and Persia. Oh, hell yeah, Persia. So there's that. Vassalizing you. Would certainly make you not very fond of us, but you know, all, all things considered, it's not that bad. It's only minus 43 on top of your... 7? Okay. I've decided we're going to vassalize this guy. Push us over our limits again, but that's fine. Eventually we'll be able to turn on Jampur. Mawar will soon be inside us as well. So, yeah. Let's push for the uh, vassalization. Again, I'm throwing all of Mawar's troops into uh, rebels. It's the right thing to do. Oh yeah, especially when you see that. Hmm? Hey, it's good to know that uh, my vassal's troops are taking all the beatings on the front lines. Because in the end, I'll probably be dismissing most of them. Now, jean Pierre wanted marriage with us. I can't remember if I wanted that or not. Allied with Gujarat, Multan, and Nagur. I think I'll give it a pass. Soon we'll be in a good position to destroy jean -Pur. In fact, if we hit Tech 4 before them, unlikely with our garbage royal family, but not impossible, we could simply floor them with superior technology. Makes me want to hire uh, a Grand Captain just so we can get closer to that. Yeah. Come on, can't put a price on military points. So I hope our, uh, hope our, fa our vassal family is happy, given all we're doing for them. Consolidate to where we are just now. There's no need for me to pay the extra when our vassal here will be helping us out. I just have to have a little faith in our vassals to siege up Bolkistan before they can fight back. Bolkistan punch above their weight. At least compared to us, mostly down to, uh, well, them having Tech 4 and us not. Tech 4 is a huge advantage. Tactics and morale. Malwa's vassal has Delhi cores. Is it time to eat them? Malwa's vassal. I believe you'll find Malwa have no vassals. Hmm, they do have a Delhi core though. Three base tacks. Might swallow the whole... well, I can't swallow the whole thing up for them. Hmm. Well, there'll be a lot of heavy expansion on the part uh, for my vassals soon enough. Sure would be nice if you uh, converted some of your land though. Trouble with the Jampures, I wouldn't mind taking them on head on, but they have made some... Uh, Fairly meaty alliances. Unless I can get Bachmanes on my side, I won't feel all too good about fighting Jampur. An alternative is that I could fight one of Jampur's enemies. Although, really, Malwa and Bengal are the only ones that fit the bill that could weaken Jampur to the point where I stab them in the back. I sure like stabbing people in the back. Good, I'm back and watching, but won't be as active as chat in chat as Twitch is trash on the phone. I certainly agree with you there. Twitch on the phone is not the way to go. Also, would you get off me, please? Go and siege up the enemy. 
Oh, why well, he's... Oh, right, he doesn't have any troops left. That'll be part of it. Please make your own... Nah, go aggressive. Like I say, I don't care if you get war exhaustion or things like that. Although we have a lazy diplomat, what could we be doing with you? I need to consider... Ah, our aggressive expansion is fine. Multan probably won't like me doing this. They may join a coalition, but that's okay. Their only friend is Jampur. How friendly are they? Funnily enough, if Multan lose just a bit more opinion of Jampur, they'll break that alliance. Improved relations are ticking down, but at the same speed that uh, aggressive expansion is. I wonder if there's something we can do about that. It's a shame that Jampur want to join in against them. It's also a shame that they won't want to join my war, but... Oh! They got balls, and they're going for it. I don't think my team are going to do too well, so I may just join in with my heir. My heir isn't bad, but I'd still rather he was dead. Jeez, guys, you did dire, but you pulled it around with a, a couple of brilliant shock rolls. Alright, they may be considerably better troops than ours, but if they're just retreating to desert, they'll die all the same. Hopefully they just stop off in Quinston on the way to Chabahar. They do not. They're there for good. But seen smell the blood in the water. So do I. Let's kill them. Scene, do you want to take the first shot? You do. I'll join you. Uh, well, I mean, I'll send a man to join you. Just one, though. We get there on the 29th, which should be okay as long as you don't instant wipe. I'll go over here as well. 22nd. 3rd of May. We'll see how this goes. Right, we joined in. Really, I only wanted to do that for the uh, the prestige. But I wonder if I'm going to get any war exhaustion from it. We're at 219. Okay, we got quite a bit of war exhaustion. That's interesting. That's something I've been wondering about for a while, and now I can uh, commit to memory. I think you get the same war exhaustion as they do. I mean, we didn't lose a single man, but we got the same war exhaustion that uh, they did, assumingly from losing their men there. Alright, that's fine. I will, against my better judgement, help you out with the sieging here. Maybe not with that sieging. Actually, you know what? You guys, you guys have that sorted. You take care of that. We'll leave our esteemed heir to take care of the sieging as well. And away we go. Now, Timmy, what's your job there? Riches of India, so you still want to kill Multan. When you fight Multan, and I hope you do soon, you'll also be gunning for uh, Jampur. Multan will be war leader. I will not get called in. That'll be gravy. I wonder if I can tell uh, Mawar to take over this. So as anybody who was watching yesterday knows, we thankfully got through this in one shot, didn't need to restart at all, no siree. We didn't accidentally give away a vassal to uh, our so-called friend Malwa, not once. So it's great when plans just come together. Jake, your general is not an heir, he is a king. That isn't true. That isn't true at all. Quing Khan Dandy. There you go. He's a general, but he is an heir. It's Shams Khan that is my king. Come on, heir. Bash your head against the wall. It won't make the siege go worse. Okay, so we're just going to go straight up for the uh, vassalization. 
Which means I should probably get Seend to like me a bit more. Because I want to uh, integrate them soon enough. I mean, it'll take 10 years anyway. I won't be able to overcome the uh, malice for having recently annexed Mawar. But I'll make a beeline for Diplo, Diplo annexing Seend as well. Because it'll actually be some Sunni land for me. That'll be a lovely change. Jake, do you plan on taking all of India or is a waste of time? Go for Europe faster. I think I want to make a beeline over here as best I can so that I can westernize. But part of me thinks that's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. It's troublesome. I want to westernize as quickly as possible, but I really don't want to go exploring. I want to take religious first. What would Brian Boitano do? If only he were here today. I'm sure he'd kick an ass or two. Yeah, I should probably give that province to Sind as well. I think it'll actually lower my aggressive expansion if I do so as well. Well, we'll soon have a free diplomat to find out. <clears throat> because welcome to the fold, Mawar. Hopefully that doesn't make... Jampur want to ditch our alliance because suddenly I'll have very low diplomatic reputation. Legitimacy not helping that. Okay, so first off, we're going to cancel anything he's trying to build. We have a navy, we're just going to mothball it for now. Kutch, wasn't that an estuary? No, I was thinking of this province. Look at all that no income. Except for Mawar. Mawar has gold, and gold is not affected by local autonomy. Unfortunately, I can't really decrease autonomy because we are barely uh, barely cutting unrest at 0% as it is. And that's not going to be helped when we try to send missionaries here. Would help to have a bit more piety. I could actually flip over to uh, Hindu shortly. And... I'm really quite tempted. I am really quite tempted. I might do it anyway, now that I think about it. We'll probably lose our alliance with Jampur, but... We'll be able to take some Hindu decisions and flip back to Sunni when we have more Sunni land inside us. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Hindu lands to 1, 2, 3 Sunni. But all I need to do is take more Sunni lands. It's as simple as that. Hindu is so good. Indeed it is. Also, it'll up my religious unity. Which will be lovely. Gee, I just don't know, do I? Royal marriage with Jampur. Um, we're quite old. We can do it on our terms. Royal marriage with Jampur, make it so. Thanks for the free Diplo power, that'll make up for all the stuff we lost. Right. Where are we even getting Patriots? Cindy Patriots. Hmm. Wow, a base of 10 there. That tells me I need to move troops over there. Now, we are way over our force limit in terms of men, and oh my goodness, some of these guys are far too expensive. So our limit, seven, we've got one, two, and four there, so everybody but one of you guys needs to go. And the rest of you stand over there, take care of the uh, rebel situation. Jake, I think she'd try and find some white elephants. Yeah, I'll get on it. Would result in Bolakistan's annexation or vassalization minus 18. I just don't understand that. He's the only person in the war. What exactly is this preventing? Oh, no, that's not true. Naj is in the war. And they're sure pulling their weight. There's a lot of not good things here. Now I've got another fairly aged heir compared to my king. What is with this? 
You any good at fighting? Not really. Alright, well let's get our king out of there, because if the king dies in battle, that's two stabs that we won't be seeing again. Now let's get that air on the case. Take our decisions whilst we can. Missionary strength. Prestige. I don't want to lose piety right now, when I could and should be converting. Hmm... The thing is, if I convert more land to Sunni, it'll be easier to flip back to Hindu. That is, if any of these people are willing to become Hindu uh, zealots for me. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Go on, Bolkistan. It's easy enough. Just submit to me. That'll be it. Pasento. Could take your money, but I don't want to. I need a strong vassal. And yeah, we'll give that to uh, our vassal. Bollockstan gets 43 if we do give it. They get 43 if we don't. Timur gets 32 with or without. I might as well give it to Sun so they like me a bit more. Can't think of a good reason not to. I mean, they would hate us for not giving them claims or cores in the war. And they'll be easy enough to annex anyway. Heck. Mm, won't be an accepted culture, but whatever. All's well that ends well. Still doesn't want to give me anything other than peasants, though. That's an odd one. As expected, Multan enters the coalition. Multan will have to die. Oh, okay, no uh, no Hindu rebs. Maybe that's because my tolerance of them is too high. Who's to say? Jake, how long will you be streaming? Probably a couple of hours. I actually want to be up tomorrow. Get my uh, things done in town. And then I want to play some DDR tomorrow. There'll be plenty of streaming, but... It won't be going on for too late tonight. And I still want to fight you. I want to fight you so bad, but Jampur would get involved on your side. I need to continue expanding, but where and how? Now, Multan's land is fairly high base tax, but it's Sunni, so it can be fed to Delhi. In fact, Delhi has a good number of claims there. But it's Timmy that I want to fight. And Jampure certainly don't want to get involved in that. See, sometimes the Timmies explode and sometimes they uh, they thrive. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm getting a thriving one. Looks like I'm also getting a thriving Ming. <clears throat> Unfortunate for me. Jake, if you can get rid of your peasants, you'll get religious rebs. If only. We will take that uh, decision for extra tax, though. Did I just see Delhi hostile towards me? Crazy. Let's get those relations up. They don't have any support for us, so I doubt they're going to be striking at us, especially when our manpower is looking fine. <coughs> Gujarat hate us. Another option to get to marriage with you. Ah, there we go. Now uh, now Delhi have a bit of support. And they won't take a marriage. But Sindh and Bolakhstan are both cool. Probably for <coughs> rejecting that marriage, they're no longer happy with me. And they're taking out Bundelkhand, which means that's another province. If they annex them, it's another province that I can just fork over to Delhi when I eventually stab you in the back. But as long as you have these half-decent alliances, that won't be an option for me. Now you hate Gujarat, Jampur, and Vijay. We could also hate... Hmm. Oh, we already hate Gujarat. If I improve my relations with you, 
and start making hostile gestures towards Gujarat. Perhaps we could come to a mutual understanding. Hmm. I'm still a while away from ever being able to incorporate Sindh into my country, so let's get our relations up with Bahmanis since they are doing well for themselves. Jake Admin, I don't know what your cap is. My cap is a staggering 1498. Oh, Delhi! For the Sunni faith, you have to understand. Although we are short a rival, I don't want to make it someone that I'm going to revoke sometime soon, though. Can't be Bachmanes or Jampur. Malwa could be a good idea, since I need to fight them anyway. Your only enemy is Gujarat, though. And your only friend, Bengal. You know, I could fight you. It's not like we have a truce. You have Tech 4, however. But we could be on that. My vassals could pretty much do the fighting for me. And Bengal is... Yeah, they'd get uh, route through Jharkhand. Ah, but your truce is up, Jampur. Jampur could take the brunt of that. Question is, what do I even want from Malwa? They have cores, granted. But they could be taken out in one shot. Fairly large. Still have that god king. Yeah, Malwa would make another great vassal on the vassal train. I see no good reason not to. Apparently they're stronger than us, I don't believe it. And yeah, they have so many uh, cores and claims, there are things that I could certainly press. Well, let's go for it. Hopefully we get a, uh, a mission on them. Save us time and uh, forging claims and whatnot. And there it is, Conquer Chenderi. That'll give us just the, uh, the CB we need without having to forge an expensive claim. Oh, wrong one. I could just take it and sell it back to them as usual. Get the 15 admin and give it back. It only costs me a little bit of uh, prestige for selling a province. Alright, I'm sure Delhi are going to stop being hostile when we're in the war together. Malwa. Right, Bengal's going to be an issue. Jampur, don't want to join in, but why? They should love a chance to fight Malwa. No, I need to think about it as if they're fighting Bengal. 40. I'd be looking at 40. Bengal is tech 3. Bengal probably pretty... pretty powerful. It would be in my interest to wait for Jampur to finish off this other war, then I think they'd be willing to fight on my behalf. Jake, when you have zero war exhaustion, will you get religious rebels? Who's to say? Oh, both of these are bad. 20 prestige is a lot to lose. And I would quite like to have higher piety. It's only a little bit of dosh. Hmm. No, I don't want to marry you, because I may want to stab you in the back fairly soon. Exhaustion isn't gone yet. Our religious unity isn't pretty, but it might be good to get uh, some positive stability whilst we still can. I have one question. Can you westernize with sea border? No. You can westernize with a straight border. For example... This is a straight border between these two provinces. But you couldn't westernize between, say, these two provinces.
Come on, you're almost done there, Jampure. What do you even want? And let's hope it's not vassalage of them. Annexation. Annexation. Great. Although that does make you more powerful, you're going to be a tough nut to crack. And they're keen to join in. And Bengal will not, but Multan will? Hmm. This will break the Multan Jampur alliance. And gives me a chance to take back the core for Delhi. It will cost me dip, but hey, everything's costing me dip. I can't be too afraid of that. As long as I make my move on their capital, I should be okay. We'll make sure we're tech 4 whilst we're at it. Such a big jump. Multan do not have it. Delhi do. Sindh don't, but Bolkstan do. Although Bolkstan barely have an army. So we'll add Malwa to our circle of uh, Vasily friends. I might not even settle just for one province for uh, Delhi. I might take an. I might take even Sinsra for them, just to antagonize the Timurids. Because if they fight me, Jean Pur will hopefully join in on our side. I'm sure they'll be more keen to do it if we married, but I just don't want to dedicate a marriage to them. Well, they've already said they're keen to fight, uh, keen to help us out. So we'll be looking at Bengal Muta. Depending on how badly Jampur get banged up in this war, I may want to jump on them, because if I take on them, it'll only be Gujarat on their side. And they're still at mill 3. Delhi still hate me. Hopefully that'll change when we have the end war together. Uh, helper. You still don't want to be my friend. <clears throat> India is such an interesting place for this, because you've got to keep your eye on the uh, political landscape of the place to such a high degree. I really like that. All right, time for you to die. Jampur joins in. Multan, do I make you a co-belligerent? Your places are going to be twice expensive if I don't. But I only want two, and those two together are less than 50%. My question is, if I fight and I make Multan a co-belligerent, will they call in Jampur? Even if I call in Jampur on my side. It's not something I can risk right now, but I would like to know that, if anybody knows. For now, we'll just do it this way. Alright, there's no Bengal. I can't forget that. Let's boogie! Didn't exhaustion to go. Yeah, goodbye alliance there. Now, as long as I hold the capital, I'll be fine. So I need to make sure I get there before our friends in Jampur do. It's also a good opportunity to loot the bugger. What are we? Fort level 3? 1, 2, 3? No problem. And base taxes are 2 and 1. That's not much, but you know what it is? It's better than nothing. can't loot this province because it borders somewhere that I have military access. Hmm. Jampur, do me a favour and kill them. Yeah, he's on the case. Hopefully before they get on my case. Rest in pieces. Jake, if by the time you get a land route to Europe, Greyskin is already formed on a scale to one, on a scale of one to uninstall the game, how mad will you be? I will be delighted at the opportunity to destroy Greyskin in its most distilled form. Oh.